we have just created our first document information record. Now let's go ahead and change it. And while changing it, we will add more data and also understand better what we have maintained before. To change a document, I can go with the document and the change option here. But I would prefer to go again from the SCP menu tree. And this is because I want to get you used with using the menu tree to find any transaction that you want. So I will go back. I will refresh the SAP menu. And now let's navigate again. Logistics. We want to go to the central functions. Then we have document management system. Document. And now we want to change. This is our previous document information record. And we see here that the document type is drawing, the document part is 000, and the document version is 00, which is the initial version. Let's go ahead and change it now. This is the information that we have maintained in the previous lesson. I want to show you now what this document status means. The initial document status is work request. If I will navigate to the other options, I see that in this point I can change my status to archived, in work or rejected. What does this status control and what does it actually mean? This is part of the status network, which we can display by going to the extras and the status network option. This is our status network and let me go with this option for the complete view. The status network represents the life cycle of a document. Let's say that first you are creating a document and then you are changing it and then you are releasing it and then you are locking it and making other changes. And uh, in the end, you can archive it because you don't want to use it anymore. Well, all the statuses, they represent the life cycle of a document. With the status network, you can control what's going to be the life cycle of your document based on your company's needs. As you see in this standard example, we have a very complex document life cycle. And this can be helpful in very large companies, which are generating a large number of documents. And uh, from the moment a document has the work request status till the document is going to get released, there are different departments or different users which have to touch this document in order to be approved. We have here also a color meaning. Now we are in the work request stage and we can see this based on the yellow highlight. From the stage, I can change my status to either in work, either archived, or either rejected. The next statuses that my document can have are highlighted in green. Then the other statuses, they are all red, meaning that they will be accessible, but only after I go past the next status. So now let's change our status to in work, meaning that we already started to work on this document information record. And I can save my document. In the long field, I can maintain a long text, like started to work. And now we have updated our document status network.